Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss angles in a unit circle. So in geometry, an angle is defined as the union of two non-collinear rays which have the same endpoint. And the definition restricts the angle measures between 0 degree and 180 degrees inclusive or exclusive. But uh, in our discussion in trigonometry, we will discuss in different perspective yung angle. Since angle will be taught as the amount of rotation generated when a ray is rotated about its endpoint. Hence, the necessity to label the side of an angle. As you can see class, uh, the initial position of the angle is tinatawag nating initial side. And then, the position of the ray and the end of its rotation will be called the terminal side. So, the, arrow, the arrowhead pointed to terminal side. So, yung arrowhead natin class, ito ito. So, lagi yan nakaturo sa terminal side. And then, itong una na to, at nakalagay dito, dapat yung initial position natin ay nasa positive x-axis. So, dapat nandito yung initial side natin. And then, Ang tawag natin sa endpoint ng ray natin ay tinatawag nating vertex ng angle. So, ito ay tinatawag nating vertex ng angle. The direction of rotation of a ray also affects angle measure. So, as you can see class, itong unang illustration natin, Kapag yung rotation ng ano natin, ray natin ay counterclockwise. Okay, pag ganito ang ikot. Counterclockwise, yung mapoform natin na angle is positive. Pero kapag yung rotation ay clockwise, so dito mag start pag ganito. So yung angle na makukuha natin is negative angle. So again, kapag counterclockwise yung rotation, positive yung angle na makukuha natin. And then kapag clockwise, yung rotation, so negative angle yung makukuha natin. So for example, so sa isang buong rotation, okay, isang buong rotation class that is equal to 360 degrees. Since counterclockwise yung ikot niya, okay, so nag-start siya sa initial side natin and then nag-end siya sa initial, initial side, ibig sabihin nakaikot siya ng isa, isang buong ikot. So, that is equal to 360 degrees. So, as you can see class, kapag ganito, positive yung angle natin. Same sa ganito. So, ito yung initial side natin. Papunta dito. So, parang kalahati ito. So, that is 180 degrees. And then, sa pangatlo, so, kung meron tayong Cartesian plane, ito, uh, itong side na to, di ba ito yung side ng uh, negative x-axis. Nama? And then, itong pangatlong example natin, itong side na to ay yung negative y-axis. So, lahat sila ay parehong positive kasi yung rotation natin ay counterclockwise. Yung nasa baba, okay, except dito, yung nasa baba, since dito tayo, clockwise yung rotation, so yung angle natin is negative. So, this is an example of uh, yung nag-rotate ng clockwise. So, the angle is negative 30 degrees. Same dito. This is negative 420 degrees. And then, so bakit umabot tayo ng 420 degrees? So sa makikita nyo class, okay, simula dito sa initial side natin, na, nakaikot siya ng isang buo, plus nagdugtong pa tong another, okay, ito mula dito sa initial side, papunta dito, and that is 60 degrees. Kasi yung isang buong ikot, 360, plus 60 so, that is 420 degrees. So, yung buong rotation niya ay 420 degrees. So, again, class, kapag counterclockwise, positive yung angle natin. Pero kapag clockwise, negative yung angle natin. In units of angle measure, meron tayong dalawa. The degree measure and the uh, degree or the radian measure. So, the degree measure was developed by the Babylonians around 2000 B.C. It was based on sexagesimal numeration system. So, ang sabi sa sexagesimal numeration system, 
to one complete rotation of a ray or to a revolution is equivalent sa 360 degrees. So, yun ang naa-assign. And sa bawat degree, sa isang degree, is equal to 60 minutes. And one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, let's try to convert or change uh, the given angle measure in decimals to minutes and seconds. So, for example, meron tayong 22.4 degrees. So, paano natin siya i-change into minutes and seconds? Una, kukunin natin ito, yung whole number natin. Okay, that's 22. And then, add natin yung decimal natin, which is 0.4. So, ilagay nyo yung degrees dito sa 22 natin, plus 0.4. And itong 0.4, ang next natin sa degree ay minutes. So, imumultiply natin si 0.4 kay minutes. So, that is 0.4 times yung 1 minute ay equivalent sa 60. Ah, o yung 1 degree ay equivalent to 60 minutes. So, kailangan kasi makonvert natin. So, imumultiply natin ito kay 60 minutes. And then, simplify 0.4. So, 0.4 times 60, that is 24 minutes. So, copy 22 degree plus 24 minutes. So, 22 degrees plus 24 minutes. So, ito, pagsasamahin na lang natin. So, halimbawa, class, ang nakuha natin dito, na pag, after natin i-multiply, may decimal pa. So, yung decimal niya, yun naman ay i-multiply natin sa seconds. Okay, so since ito, whole number na, so therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. Pagsasamahin na lang natin. So that is 22 degrees, 24 minutes. Sa calculator, madali lang kunin yan. No? Itatype nyo lang ito. Tapos kapag scientific calculator, may ganong symbol na yung uh, ganito, degree, minute, seconds. So pipindutin nyo lang yon lalabas na ito. So another example, 14.21 degrees. So unang gagawin, Kagaya ng ginawa sa number 1, okay, kakapi natin yan, and then add natin yung decimal natin. So, 14 degrees plus yung decimal na 0.21, imumultiply natin ito kay sa 60 minutes. So, 0.21 times 60 minutes, the answer is, so, copy 14 degree plus 0.21 times 60 minutes is 12.6 minutes. So, as you can see, class, meron tayong uh, isang decimal, ay may decimal pa tayo. So, si 12, ito, dito natin ilagay yung minutes. So, kapit 14 degrees plus 12 minutes. And then, itong decimal na 0.6, imumultiply natin sa seconds. Okay? So, again, class, since kanina, kasi whole number na siya, so therefore, hindi na natin minultiply sa seconds. So, dito, may decimal pa tayong kasama. So, yung decimal na 0.6, imumultiply pa natin sa seconds. So, plus 0.6 times 60 seconds. Okay? 0.6 times 60 seconds is equivalent to 14 degrees. So, copy. Plus 12 minutes. Copy din. So, 0.6 times 60 again. That is 36 seconds. So, ito na So, since whole number na, so pagsamahin na lang natin. So, the final answer is 14 degrees, 12 minutes, 36 seconds. Okay? So, by using calculator, so ipapakita ko sa inyo para uh, kapag, para ma-check nyo rin kung tama yung nakuha nyo sagot. Okay? So, gamit yung calculator para ma-check natin kung tama yung sagot natin. So, di ba yung sagot natin dito ay 14 degrees, 12 minutes, 36 seconds. So, itatype nyo lang 14.21, then equals, then hanapin nyo yung uh, ito. So, kung meron ito sa calculator nyo, so yung degree, minute, seconds. So, pindutin nyo lang yan. So, yan na agad ang ibibigay sa inyong sagot. So, 14 degrees. So, hindi na kayo dadaan dito. Pero, syempre, kailangan nyo pa rin uh, matutunan ang pagkuha manually. Okay? Para alam nyo rin kung bakit siya 14 degrees, 12 minutes, and 36 seconds. Okay? So, pwede ito yung pang last step nyo. I-check kung tama yung nakuha nyo yung sagot. Okay, next is... 
to convert the degree measurement to decimal degree. So, paano gagawin ito? So, for example, meron tayong 31 degrees, 12 minutes, and 54 seconds. So, i-convert natin into decimal degree. So, una, okay, so copy the given, and then, isa-isahin natin parang uh, pa-backward yung solution natin. So, mag-start tayo, paghiwalayin muna natin yung seconds natin. So, sa una, magkasama si degrees and seconds, ah, yung minutes rather, and then paghiwalayin natin si seconds. Kasi itong seconds na to, i-convert natin kay minutes. So, in 1 minute, ilang seconds? 60 seconds. So, therefore, si 54 seconds, i-multiply natin kay 1. Okay, 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So, para makancel natin yung unit na seconds. Para ang maiwan na lang, minutes. Okay, so 54. So, again, ang unang ginawa natin, magkasama muna yung degrees sa ka minutes. And then, si seconds, pinaghiwalay natin. And then, i-multiply natin, okay, para ma-convert natin ito sa minutes. So, 1 minute over 60 seconds. Okay, so once you are going to, 54 times 1 over 60, that is 0 0.9 minutes. So, minutes na kasi makakancel nyo na yung unit na seconds. Since pareho na sila, kumbaga sa, di ba sa algebra, kinukombine natin yung similar terms. Since same na sila na minutes, so pwede natin silang i-add. So that is 31 degrees, 12.9 minutes. And then, ito class ay gagawin naman nating degrees. Iko-convert natin itong 12.9 sa degrees. So 31 degrees plus 12.9 minutes times since again, i-convert natin ito sa degrees, so kailangan makancel natin yung uh, unit natin na minutes. So, i-multiply natin sa 1 over 60 minutes. Okay, so para makancel yung minutes, maiwan yung degree. So, that is 31 degree plus, so 12.9 times 1 over 60 is 0 0.215. So, uh, ngayon class, same na silang degrees. So, therefore, add lang natin. So, 31 plus 0 0.215. The answer is 31.215 degrees. Okay. So, ganyan natin siya i-convert yung degree measurement sa decimal degree. Next. So, another example. We have 50, uh, 70 degrees, 22 minutes and 11 seconds. So, unang gagawin, paghiwalay natin, i-convert natin tong 11 seconds sa minutes. Okay, so 70 degrees, 22 minutes, plus 11 seconds times 1 over 60 seconds. And then 11 times 1 over 60, that is 0 0.18. So pareho na sila. So i-add natin 22 minutes plus 0 0.18. So the answer is 22.18 minutes. And then, ito namang 22.18, i-convert naman natin into degrees. So that is... 70 degrees plus 22.18 minutes times 1 degree over 60 minutes. And so, 22.18 times 1 over 60, the answer is 0 0.37 degrees. So, add 70 plus 0 0.37. So, the answer is 70.37 degrees. Next. So, sa calculator, pwede nyo rin yan i-check. Okay? So, ito naman ay, ito naman yung itatype nyo. At saka nyo i-equals. We have negative 5 degrees, 48 minutes, 41 seconds. So, same process. So, yung 41 seconds, i-convert natin sa minutes. So, that is 1 over 60. 41 times 1 over 60. The answer is 0 0.68. And then, 48 plus 0 0.68, the answer is for five, negative 5 degrees, 48.68 minutes. And then, si 48.68 minutes, i-convert natin into degrees. So, 5 degrees plus 48.68 minutes times 1 over 60. And that is 0 0.81 degrees. So, therefore, negative 5 plus 0 0.81, the answer is negative 5.81 degrees. I hope... Natutunan nyo how to convert the degree measurement to decimal degree. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. 
This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your wow math channel.